uh, and a warm welcome to this webinar. Uh, my name is Siddharth Bhatia, and I'm currently leading the Interact CSM, and I'm looking after the SMB side of the business. Uh, so last time uh, when we had connected, so we discussed about the marketing features that we have uh, introduced. So we spoke about uh, smart ads slash click to WhatsApp ads, and we spoke about concierge as a feature. And in click to WhatsApp ads, uh, I had basically shown you guys how to set up uh, the ads. What is the traditional way of setting up click to WhatsApp ads, and what is uh, the newer way that uh, you know uh, the the feature that we have introduced, which is smart ads. How smart ads could uh, basically help you set up the ads uh, in a quicker uh, and uh, in 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 more easier way, right? So smart ads, click to WhatsApp ads are just the same uh, thing. It's just like in smart ads is an easier way and a quicker way, uh, you know, uh, uh, quicker option to be able to create the ads. Whereas in CTWA, the traditional method is quite long, all right? But uh, the best part is like uh, with click to WhatsApp ads, uh, the traditional way of setting up the ads, you'll get more uh, options, customization options, but you won't get it in the smart ads. But uh, for your newer audience who are not aware of this particular ad format, you can just set up quickly uh, with the help of smart ads feature that we have introduced in our platform, right? Apart from this, we spoke about the benefits uh, and how click to WhatsApp ads edges over normal Facebook ads, right? Because your customers, if your customers are redirected to WhatsApp, they get more focused approach, right? Rather than your customers, uh, you know, when they end up on your website, uh, there's no one to to, to, to help them out, right? So all your customers, they do have a lot of questions, right? So if they're redirected to the WhatsApp uh, uh, API platform, all right? So if they're redirected to a WhatsApp, they'll get a more focused approach and uh, they'll get a personalized approach. Obviously, if they, they would have certain questions, they can easily just drop in a WhatsApp um, text to your API number and uh, they'll get the response, quicker response and a timely response, right? We also spoke about concierge. Uh, so you'll find an announcement section in the bottom left of our platform. So this in concierge, what happens is we'll give you nudges in the form of announcements, right? So we'll notify you which campaign performed the best. So we spoke to a lot of clients and, you know, uh, uh, they raised this question that they don't have, uh, you know, the, the data, proper data, or they don't have the idea as to which campaign performed the best and what was the engagement level. So we'll give you nudges in the form of announcements and we'll, we'll notify you which campaign performed the best uh, in the past week or the past quarter or, the, or, 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 or in the past year, basically, right? And we'll also give you the nudges. We'll also inform you that when you can just, you know, uh, set up a follow-up campaign, right, based on the previous engagement level so that, uh, you know, you, you have the higher chances of retaining your customers and uh, you have the higher chances of converting your prospects or leads into the final customer, right? Now, today's topic for discussion is quite interesting. So it is about the answer bot. Answer bot is another new feature that we have introduced, right? And we will also, uh, uh, you know, discuss about the Instagram uh, inbox integration. So we'll discuss about the Instagram inbox and we'll also uh, set up uh, the Instagram live on this particular call. So I will urge and request all of you to be ready with your laptops, right? So once we will, first of all, we'll discuss about the answer bot feature that we have and later we'll, uh, you know, set up the Instagram uh, account and we we'll link it with your uh, interact, right? So before we move on, sorry. Uh, just give me a second, right? So before we move on, for those who do not know about Interact, so Interact is a geohaptic product and geohaptic is a conversational based AI company, which was founded in 2013. Reliance Geo is our strategic investment partner and uh, uh, Interact, uh, as I said, is a geohaptic product and it was launched in 2020. Now, since then, we have processed more than 15 billion conversations and we have more than 25,000 customers, right? So. What is a full stack conversational CRM platform, first of all? So a full stack conversational CRM platform should be able to help you recover your abandoned transactions. It should help you with sending personalized offers to your customers, right? So that you can just send, uh, you know, timely reminders to your customers. It should help you with deactivating your non-transacting users because to be able to acquire as many users, all right, is first and the foremost uh, target, 
right? For any business, right? And then you can just work on, uh, you know, the sales funnel and convert them into the final customer, right? A full stack conversational CRM platform also helps you improve your, your overall uh, value of the product. Uh, and it also helps you with, with, the, with the returns on your investments. As in, let's say if you have invested in campaigns or uh, you have invested on the ads, so it should basically help you, uh, you know, uh, in, in help you earning the profits so that you can just, uh, you know, earn more than what you have invested in your account, right? So Interact does all of this and Interact helps you in all of these, uh, you know, features basically. Right, so as I had mentioned, Interact was founded in 2020, and uh, in a year we had acquired more than 1,000 customers. Then we were listed as number one Shopify application in 2022, and uh, since the inception, we have now more than 25,000 customers. In three years, we have gotten 25,000 customers, and I'm proud to say that we have more than uh, 300 partners across five countries. Right, uh, Interact was awarded by Meta as uh, in back in 2023. Uh, so I'm proud to say that uh, uh, like Meta is our prime, one of the prime partners actually. And uh, so Meta actually needed help in promoting this particular ad format, which is click to WhatsApp ad that we had discussed in the last session. And uh, Interact stepped up and uh, you know we promoted this particular ad format to all of our customers. And uh, as, as a token of acknowledgement, we got this award from Meta, right? So we've processed more than 15 billion conversations since the inception, and we have gotten 4.4 rating on Shopify, which is one of the highest uh, when it comes to uh, WhatsApp uh, marketing platform. And we have a rating of 4.5 on G2 as well. And G2 is one of the trusted, uh, you know, software, uh, you know, review platforms. You get genuine reviews in this uh, particular platform, right? I'm really proud to say that uh, we have more than 25,000 customers, and we have a lot of customers from Shark Tank India as well, right? Now coming on to uh, the main topic, right? So for a product, it's important for you to market your product, on it to be able to, uh, you know, uh, reach, to be able to make your product, to be able to make your customers aware of the product, all right? So the second step is to increase the sales, and the third step is to provide post-sales support. Now here's the game, right? So this post sale support is something where, uh, you know, all, all, if, where, where actual, actually the fight is basically, right? So it's quite important that you retain your customers with excellent support, right? So we have, uh, we have come up with solutions and we have introduced uh, features in all the three categories over here, right? So for market, we have already discussed and uh, we'll discuss it about sell uh, features that we have introduced, but today we are going to discuss about answer feature. Right. So first and foremost, we'll talk about answer bot, as I had mentioned. So, uh, you know, this answer uh, uh, category should help you with automating your queries. It should help you boot response times and it should improve on customer support. It should help you improve upon your customer support on WhatsApp and Instagram for happier customers. Right. So we'll speak about answer bot today. It's a new feature. It's, it's an absolute new feature. Right. So we had spoken to a lot of our clients and we have gotten the feedback like, uh, we have this automation section right on interact and uh, there you will find this answer bot so what answer bot will do is you just have to add your website so there's a dedicated section you just have to paste your website url or else you can add up to four or five website urls over there depending upon the plan that you have now what interact will do is now ai gen, gen ai comes into the picture right so gen ai will read all the information on your website it will scrape the information and it will create in uh, intriguing uh, FAQs for you, right? And those FAQs could be listed uh, with the uh, uh, listed with welcome messages, right? So let's suppose if a customer drops you a text uh, on on WhatsApp on Interact, right? So they'll receive a welcome message, and along with the welcome message, they'll get the list of FAQ questions, right? So this would basically reduce your work, all right? And you can utilize that particular time in other marketing strategies, right? Now let us see how that is done actually. So I'll just quickly. Uh, play this video, right? So as you can see uh, on Interact, you have a dedicated automation, automation section. There you will find web scan or answer bot. You just have to add your website URL. So Interact will take about 15, 20 seconds to be able to scrape the information, to be able to fetch the information, and to be able to uh, create the FAQs uh, for you, 
right? So basically, the whole idea is that uh, that the automation should do like half of your work, right? So this is the whole idea. Instead of wasting your time on on the generic questions which the customers usually ask, you can set up an automation, right? And then the automation will work and it will answer your queries, right? So as you could see, uh, Interact just created a list of questions. It's, it actually read all the information from the website and it created uh, intriguing FAQs for you, right? So I'll just quickly go to the next video that we have that will give you more clarity. Uh, just give me a second. Right. Right. So as you could see, you have gotten these many questions. Uh, so you get further options as well, right? So you can just have a look at all the questions that have that Interact has created for you, right? So you get an option to edit uh, edit these these questions, FAQ questions, or or you can just approve them directly, right? So let's say if you want to edit, right? So you can just make changes to the question. You can make changes to the answer. You can add emojis, or you can highlight certain section that you would want to highlight, right? So this is something which is absolutely possible. You can customize the message, right? So once that is done, right, you can make the changes. You can just click on save, all right? And then you can select the list of options or list of FAQs that you feel is apt and you would want to display to your customers so that half of your queries uh, gets answered, right? So we'll just, just select the options and click on save approved FAQs. Once you do this, Interact will automatically, what it does is uh, it will create those FAQ questions in the custom auto reply section. I'll just uh, take you to that section of the video, right? So once you approve this, it will automatically create those questions in the custom auto reply section, right? Now, uh, once the uh, you know FAQs are created in the custom auto reply section, you can use them in your campaigns. Or let's say if the customer you know just replies you back with the same you know, you know input keyword, the automated the automation will work and it will trigger the automated response for those FAQs, right? So this is how, uh, you know, half of your work is actually done. The automation takes care of uh, half of your work. It will answer, uh, you know, the generic questions being put up by your customers, right? So you can just utilize your time in other marketing strategies and you can just focus on some other work. Uh, so half of your work is done in here. Now, uh, since you, already know that at certain level, at certain point, your customer executives will have to get in touch with your customers, but uh, rest assured, automation will answer half of the queries and uh, this will seriously reduce your burden, right? So what I'll do is I'll just quickly uh, go share the interact uh, and I'll share the screen and I'll explain you how it works actually in the automation. So basically, once the custom, uh, once the FAQs have been created, all right. So you just have to go to the automation section. It will automatically take you to the automation section in the custom auto replies. So over here, just give me a second. Um, It generally does not take this much time, right? So as you can see, uh, the the answer bot will create automatically create all these uh, questions for you over here. Now what you can do is you can just go to the interactive list message section in here, click on include new reply, and you can just select the custom auto reply, right? You can just select the FAQ, give the name of the button, and click on save, right? So you can create as many custom auto replies in here, but in the interactive list, you can only add up to 10 rows, not more than that. And this is something that we have also mentioned it in here, right? Now, once you have added all these rows in the interactive list, once you have recorded all these questions and answers, you can go to the inbox settings. So here you have out of office message. You get an option which says enable interactive list. You can enable this list from here. You can enable the list from the welcome message, right? And you can enable this list from the delayed response message. Now I'll give you an example. So let's say you have set up your uh, office timings, right? Now, if your customers are dropping you, uh, you know, a text after your office hours, so obviously this message will trigger, which says out of office message, right? And along, and along with this message, 
uh, your customers will get a button, right? And that button name uh, is something which you can also change. So I'll just quickly take you back to the interactive this message. So this would be the button name, right? So along with the out of office message, your customers will get this button which says menu, right? Once they click on the menu, uh, they'll get all these options. Let's say if they click on uh, the second option over here, also the relevant response will trigger automatically, right? So that is how, uh, you know, uh, we have we came up with the idea so that you don't have to stress much uh, you know in creating the faqs interact will do interact will uh, do the job for you right so you just have to uh, with with few button clicks uh, you'll get the the faqs created for you and uh, so and those faqs will be quite interesting because obviously that has that would be created by the gen ai feature that we have right so we promised that we'll include ai and that that is something that we have done right so I'll take you back to the presentation, right? So I hope uh, the answer bot feature uh, should help you. And uh, if you have any queries related to this, you can just reach out to uh, support at the rate interact.ai. And if, and if we have a dedicated support team and a customer success team, they'll help you out, right? Now coming on to Instagram integration. So this is, this is something that we have introduced recently. So the whole idea was like if your customers are dropping you a text on Instagram, right? So if you have a dedicated Instagram account for your brand, you know, it becomes quite difficult to manage all those platforms, Instagram and WhatsApp and Facebook and everything, right? So what we have done is we have integrated Instagram. We have uh, introduced this options, but as in you can just integrate your Instagram account to interact. And let's say if the customer is dropping you a text in your Instagram inbox, you receive the message in interact. And similarly, you can just reply back from interact as well to your customers, right? So let's see how to set this up, right? So I'll just take you back to the, the interact account basically, right? So there's a section which says home, right? On interact, you click on this, uh, you'll find an option which says connect your account over here, right? So let's say if you're not getting this option, just reach out to us, just drop us a mail support at the rate interact.ai, I'll repeat again. Uh, you'll get the support within 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 few minutes, right? So big because this usually takes a few minutes uh, for us to enable this and we'll do it for you, right? If you're not getting an option, please drop a mail right away, right? So uh, if for those who are getting this option, just click on connect your account, right? So you get two options over here. You have to click on the check boxes. Now, <clears throat> Make sure to read this. So it says that you'll be charged triple nine. So that is that, that is irrelevant. You won't be charged even a single penny for this feature. Now the second one says to ensure smooth integration of your account, please select only one account as you move forward. Right. So this is important. I'll tell you why. So click on continue with Facebook over here. Right. <clears throat> you'll get a pop up, basically. In this pop up, you get an option to cancel, continue, and you get edit access. Now the second point is directly related to this. You click on edit access you have to select a single account that you would want to connect all right you want you would you would want to select the relevant instagram page and profile and account from here right so i'll select the relevant account and similarly just do it with me as well right so you just go to your <coughs> in, uh, interact platform go to the home section connect your account and come to this page right so you just have to select the relevant instagram account and uh, uh, the relevant option from the list right, that you would want to connect and just deselect the other option. Once that is done, go back at the top, click on this cancel option and continue, right? So once you do this, right, so I'll just quickly share the screen again. And this is something which I wanted to show you actually, right? So <clears throat> let's say if you have connected uh, uh, the incorrect account, or let's say if you have, uh, connected more than one account, so it will give you an error. And this is how the error is going to look like, right? So what you need to do is, there's no point of uh, trying this again, all right? Because it won't work, you just cancel this. Now, you need to open up your Facebook account. Now, this is quite important and just listen to this very carefully and follow the steps, right? So let's say if you're getting the error while connecting your Instagram account, and we, actually we are working with Meta, so we'll come up with a solution for this. But for now, you just have to go to your Facebook page your Facebook, basically, I'll say the tab, right? Uh, and replicate these steps. <clears throat> so you have to go to the account section, go to settings and privacy. In settings and privacy, you'll find the option which is settings. Just click on settings. On the left-hand side, 
you will just scroll down and you'll find business integrations, right? Once you uh, come in this section, you'll find an option which says interact omni channel. You just have to remove this. That's it. You just remove this option from here, right? And once this is done, just refresh the page and go back to your interact account. Right? Just make sure to refresh your Facebook page and go back to your interact account. Refresh your interact account as well. <clears throat> right? And you need to follow the same steps. You just have to click on the option which says connect your account. Um, so sorry, guys, this is taking, yeah, so it worked, right? So you just have to click on connect your account again, select both these options, continue with Facebook pop up. Make sure to click on edit access and select the relevant account. I repeat again, you need to select the relevant account, right, this time. <clears throat> I got an error again. I'll just quickly show you. I got an error because I had connected, uh, you know, the different account again. And so what I'll do is I'll just quickly go back to uh, Facebook and I'll show you again so that you guys uh, can also replicate the steps. You just have to go to business settings over here, business integrations over here, and uh, you'll find an option which says interact with my channel. Just remove this, right? Uh, somehow the account got stuck. Just give me two seconds. I will refresh this again. Sorry, guys, just bear with me. Just this won't take much time. Uh, but this was important, and I wanted to inform you of of this actually. Right, so this will save your time as well. Right, so just remove this from here. Done, and just go back to interact, click on continue your account and follow the same steps. I hope this time we should be able to do this. Right, the process is quite simple. Again, I'll just mention you have to select the relevant account and uh, deselect the other options. Go back to the top, cancel this, and click on continue. Right now, this should work. Great, it worked. So let's quickly share the screen again. It somehow disconnects. Uh, I'll quickly show you my screen. Right, so you can see it says the account has been connected now. I will go to the inbox section and I will show you how this works actually. Right, so I have my mobile phone. And uh, what I'll do is, I will quickly drop a text to this particular account, right? To the Instagram account, test interact. Now, once I drop a text, so what happens is, you should be able to see the message over here, right? Just give it a second. Drop the text. Right. So if you could see, we have gotten a text on interact platform in the inbox section. You can just reply back as well. Right. So your customers will receive the text on their Instagram profile chat uh, section. All right. So this is how it works. You can close the chat and you will find all the details in here. Uh, unfortunately, we, we uh, are not able to fetch the contact information and email ID, but we can fetch the Instagram details, all right? And that is how you can just, uh, you know, get in touch with your customers over Instagram as well through uh, Interact platform, right? So this is an exciting feature and this is just the phase one. 
but it's if we have just brought in the integration whereas in you can just connect your instagram inbox later on uh, you should be able to send campaign messages you should be able to send templates and you should be able to uh, you know uh, work on the automation part as well on instagram so this is something that we will pick up in the second phase uh, so just bear with us just be with us for another uh, just wait for another few months uh, we'll we'll introduce the automations and we will introduce the templates and the campaign features for instagram as well right so this will absolutely help you in boosting your sales over different uh, platforms right so that is how uh, you know uh, these features work and uh, i just quickly go back to my presentation again right so i hope uh, you understood about the answer bot and i i hope at least uh, you know 50 60% of you must have connected your instagram uh, account uh, in this call and if you're facing any error please i'll repeat again just reach out to us on support@interact.ai we'll help you we have a dedicated support team and uh, uh, yeah right Now moving on, uh, I just wanted to brief you on the pricing as well. So we have uh, uh, done a little change. We have brought in a little change. So we have removed starter plan, a monthly starter plan actually, and uh, you'll find the starter plan only with our quarterly plans and uh, our annual plans, right? So with quarterly plans, uh, you can save up to eight percent, and with yearly plans, you can save up to twenty percent, right, of the amount which. Uh, that you're paying for the on on the monthly basis, right? Now these quarterly plans and the yearly plans are also for growth and advance, right? Uh, apart from that, you will find uh, you know monthly growth plans and monthly advance plans as well. So the only change is that we have removed starter plan from uh, starter monthly plans actually, right? So in the starter plans, you will have uh, you know the share team inbox. You'll have the access to the chat automation section. You'll have the basic templates. You can create basic templates and you can connect. Uh, you you'll have the integrations option as well you you can connect your shopify you can connect woocommerce raise a pay right you'll have you can uh, um, and and uh, so this is basically a self serve platform so we are uh, actually uh, you know revamping our website and we are introducing the updated uh, documents uh, and the feature uh, you know case studies and documents as well so that it helps you right so if you get stuck somewhere you can just refer to that particular section which i will just tell you right Um, now in the growth plan also so what we have uh, done is uh, in the growth plan again you will you get all these features that you have gotten with the starter plan apart from that you'll get you'll be able to access the answer bot feature which i have discussed right now plus uh, the concierge feature which i had discussed uh, with you guys in the last uh, meeting all right as uh, you'll be able to make advance templates and you'll be able to you'll be you'll get access to the automation which is for most important all right i'm pretty sorry yeah uh, uh the automation in the growth plan all right so you'll be getting the access to your uh, whatsapp payments and you you'll be getting access to app integrations you can do up to three integrations app integrations with the growth plan plus you'll the, the api rate limit would be 300 requests per minute right now the advanced plan you'll get all those features that you were getting all those features that you were getting with the start in the growth plan plus you will get auto chart routing feature which is not available with the with the growth plan and the starter plan you'll get more advanced templates options plus you'll get unlimited app integrations right plus the api rate limit will also increase to 600 requests per minute right and it, and you will also get the uh, the access to the analytics with the growth plan and the advanced plan but not with the starter plan right and uh, you can uh, access the order related web hooks uh, with the advanced plan and also we have removed apis from the starter plan so this is something that you will get in the growth plan only let's say if you want to just connect your crm directly with the help of apis you can consume our apis even track apis user track apis right you can uh, you can get the order status uh, on the web hooks right so this is something which is available from the growth plan which is something which is not available in the starter plan so starter plan is based just the basic plan i mean right uh, you can send campaigns you can connect uh, you know the shopify store book commerce stores to be able to send automated campaigns that will work with the starter plan but apart from that if you would want more automation features and if you want to connect your crm by apis that will be possible uh, from growth plan onwards right and uh, similarly we have these pricing structures for 
of our international users with the same features and everything, but the pricing is in dollars, right? Uh, right, so just do let us know if you would have any questions or doubts, we will uh, answer. We have a dedicated support team and we have a dedicated CR and uh, customer success team. Let's say if you want to understand about any of these features, you can just directly reach out to us. And if you have any problem, again, you can reach out to our support. Uh, we are there to help you out and uh, all the best. And uh, right, have a happy weekend. And uh, right, and before we go, so I just wanted to show you one thing. So we have on our website, so we have this dedicated resource section, resource center, basically. All right, so you can search for any topic in here. Let's say, for example, if you want to search for templates, right? So, uh, you know, we have uh, updated the documents in here and we are currently updating all the documents in here. So you can just click on any of the option and you'll find, uh, you know, a, a complete uh, uh, you know, document for how to set up the templates, right? With the screenshots, with video, everything, right? So um, you can make, uh, you can utilize this particular resource center uh, on our platform. And uh, let's say if you get stuck somewhere, you can just refer to this. Else, you can uh, drop us a mail at support at the rate interact dot ai, and uh, we are just there to help you out, right? So thank you, everyone. Uh, I hope this session was fruitful and uh, do let me know. Uh, just drop us a mail and do let us know if you have any suggestions or if you need any help with the platform. We're just there to help you out. And we'll come up with more uh, such sessions like these. And uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. All the best.